Singapore's Government Parliamentary Committee for Transport has echoed calls for independence from the Public Inquiry Panel tasked with investigating the recent train disruptions, one of the worst experienced by operator SMRT. Committee Chairman Cedric Fu has filed a parliamentary question asking the Prime Minister to look into this. Despite the breakdowns, he said Singapore should still strive for 100% public transport reliability. Dylan Lowe reports. In the drive to move people forward, some feel Singapore's public transport system has fallen behind. The waiting time for buses usually takes very long. The taxi fares uh, currently is really very high. A train can stop halfway, you know, for 5-10 minutes. And because they, they keep saying it's like technical fault. So we have been experiencing this for months. Singaporeans are a particularly vocal bunch when it comes to expressing views on buses, trains and taxis. Topping the list of discussion topics on the government's feedback unit reach between January and November 2011 was transport. It received even more attention than other hot-button issues like housing and immigration. 2011's multiple train breakdown stole public attention, including three big disruptions in one December week. These may have overshadowed previous promises of upcoming rail networks, shorter waiting times and better services for trains and buses. And with the various fee hikes, are people getting their pennies worth? The public transport fare formula is due for review in 2012. And the Government Parliamentary Committee for Transport hopes the revision will take into account service standards. But to expect that public transport operators make losses or do not have even a small return that res resemble bond returns, would be tilting the balance too much towards commuter, which is always good to do, populist to do, but is it sustainable? So we need to ask that question and we need to balance the needs of all stakeholders. How about penalties? In October, the Public Transport Council dealt operators SBS Transit a $700 penalty while SMRT received a mere $300 fine in its latest six monthly review of public transport operators. Some observers say penalties should be higher, taking into account previous service lapses. Since we have the service breakdowns, going by the basic and very simple mathematics, by the number of the passengers and the, their value of time, on the hourly basis, I think we can know roughly what kind of the economic loss that we have. This will give us certain uh, hints or the indication in the future if we are uh, uh, serious about uh, 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 working the penalty into our regulations. Addressing reliability issues is even more pressing since authorities are encouraging more commuters to switch to public transport as the preferred mode of travel. To control vehicle population on the roads, the annual vehicle growth rate was slashed from 1.5 to 0.5% starting August 2012. Car dealers expect a corresponding cut in Certificate of Entitlement or COE quotas. This will likely shoot up COE rates and alter car sales trends. If let's say the new car price is so high, of course, uh, definitely it's good to buy used car. A lot of uh, car dealers may expand to overseas or they will convert to used car or premium brand. Some expect COE quotas in 2012 to shrink by 15% on average.